I don't recommend doing double chili, so I'm dying over here. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure and we are trying out some of the most exotic food that we can find here in Mumbai, India. Foods that a little boy from central Minnesota might have found to be a bit unusual in the past. That's a goat heart? That's smaller than I would have thought for a goat heart. And the brain is bigger than I would have thought. There's no doubt that India is full of mind-bendingly delicious, tasty treats. But in these next two videos, I've searched Mumbai and Delhi to find some of the most unique foods food in this country. Whether it's buffalo milk I helped get myself. What? Is this one broken? Or this dangerous flaming pond. Ah! Uh, uh. I'm determined to prove that one man's weird is another man's delicious. When I came to India, so many people from India were like, sorry man, no weird food here. I think I found a couple of special things. I'm not gonna say they're weird, but they're extra special. I have never tried buffalo milk, let alone chick milk, a special name given to the nutrient-dense milk produced immediately after a buffalo has given birth. Also, this place housing 375 buffaloes is not exactly in the countryside. These buffalo are in the middle of the city. Here's a giant buffalo, and here's an apartment. Next to apartment buildings, right next to a main highway, right here in the middle of the city. I'm told I have to be quiet, so we're gonna be with our buffalo voices. There's a guy milking them, so they're milking the buffalo, but they're doing it by hand. Man, that's gotta be such a relief to get all that milk out. She looks very satisfied right now. Look at, look at that face. Oh, don't be shy now, come on. The buffalo, they're feeding. They're eating, and then they're a little bit curious too, because maybe they've never been on a YouTube show. So right now we're going to milk the buffalo, and um, I told them that I knew how. Okay, I have no idea what's happening, but this is great. Sure. Oh, that's good, he got a lot of milk. Yes, did you see there was a little bit of milk. Maybe I need Vaseline, do you guys have Vaseline? This takes forever. Whoa! Oh, I thought one of these nipples was broken. It's just me. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's not coming up. Come on, come on, don't embarrass yourself, Sonny. I'm trying to be like gentle. This buffalo likes it a little bit rough. I think they brought me to a dry cow. What is happening? This is like the most bizarre field trip I've ever been on. Okay. This? No. No. Boys, boys. Boys? Boys, boys. I don't think I should milk this one because it has a, a penis. Can I drink some milk? One, one liter. One liter of milk. That's absolutely going to give me gas. Ah. Instead of trying the plain buffalo milk, I've been told to wait for the rare chick milk from a mother who had just given birth that morning. But first, I'm heading into Gashwala for a dessert made from the same kind of milk. So we are inside the fresh dairy store. And the first thing I spotted here was they have some special ghee. Now ghee is like the clarified butter. And this isn't cow ghee. Most of the ghee here in India is from cows. They have sheep ghee and they have goat ghee. We also have, bam, fresh camel milk. We're not gonna try it today because it's uh, frozen salt. They've prepared a dessert that we're gonna try right now. From that special buffalo chick or chick milk, they've made this dessert. Here we have the plain version, just straight up white, and then this yellow one is made with saffron. This is supposed to be super nutrient dense, healthy. I mean, after this, I can lift a car or maybe at least a buffalo. Let's try it out. That's really good. Oh, it's very mild flavor. Creamy, cross between like cream cheese, yogurt, cheese, and cold milk. If you combine all those things, that's what it tastes like. No buffalo-iness at all. You like this one? Yeah. So let's try the bite with the saffron. Mmm, it kind of changes the texture somehow. A little less creamy, almost crumbly now, but very dense, thick, and it, you know, it's just a nice refreshing treat. Who knew? That's up there on the unique scale. Normally, patrons come here to grab milk by the bag, but a bag of chick milk costs three times the standard variety. And right now, the owner of this stable has invited me for a warm, frothy cup. There's a baby calf and the mother. We're gonna go try that milk now. We will take the milk from this buffalo. It was a pregnant in the morning. Now, we had given the kid uh, that uh, baby, Today? Yeah, yeah, today morning, yeah, the, the baby, 
and this baby after three hours or after four hours, this baby will run it. So the baby gets some milk. Ah, yeah. And we get some milk. Ah, yeah. Okay. See, I thought we were like taking away the baby's milk, but everyone gets milk. Careful. First time he will having the milk right now. Now he is trying to helping you out. It is a it is a colostrum milk has a 99% calcium. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds almost dangerous. Oh, it's very nice. This milk just yes. came right from the teat. It's very frothy up yeah. top. It's it's creamy. It's body temperature, very warm. Ah, warm. And you just you just take it down. Yeah, and it is has a it is a free from a bacteria. How do you say cheers? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay. <laughs> you like there some different taste over there? It is some water, so salty and like that way. Yeah, it's just it's salty. Ooh, that is unique. Creamy, salty, fatty. Wow. Well, thank you, sir. That's thank you. A very special experience. Mm, yeah, cheers. Really good. Thank you. Next up, we're headed to the suburbs for a local snack that's prepared and eaten in a very unique style. We're in this residential area here in Mumbai, and just on the street corner, these guys pop up out of nowhere. And then immediately, people who knew the stand started coming up and ordering some food. What is special about this place? That pani puri is very tasty. How many do you usually eat? 10 to 15 pani uh -huh. 10 to 15. My kind of snack. I like that. Do they usually just give you one by one? Yes. Oh, so it's like super fresh. So this is like an assembly line that ends at your mouth. The pani puri here starts with a round wheat crisp that's stuffed with some beans, then dipped in a sweet lentil tamarind sauce. And finally, it's completely submerged in this green flavored water. They give you a dish and they just serve you one at a time. It, they create this assembly line and then while you're chewing, they're creating the next one. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. Soup me up. Knock, let's knock them out. That is so delicious. Mmm. It's perfect. Perfect. Mm. Oh no. This is dangerous. Like whatever they put in here, I'm eating it. Okay, thank you. It is like Indian chips and salsa. Now, give me a second to explain. They have so many flavors that I'm used to from something like Mexican food with the beans inside, cilantro, the spiciness. So it almost tastes like a corn chip full of pico de gallo, bean, and some spicy, like soupy salsa, the kind you get for free at a Mexican restaurant. And then a little bit of sweetness from some tamarind sauce and together it's just so amazing. Mmm. Okay, I seriously, I've had like eight or nine already. Last one, last one. As a bonus item, they're whipping up some sev puri, starting with flat wheat crisps, potato, onion, cilantro, spicy chutney, tamarind sauce, cilantro again, chickpea flour shavings, known as sev, plenty of that, more tamarind sauce, cilantro, and it's topped with some fresh lemon. And some lemon, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's like heavy. And look, I can't help but to compare it to Mexican food because that's kind of my basis of knowledge and I'm, I'm very new to Indian food. I'm learning a lot about it. This feels like some kind of nachos without the cheese. So we've got the chips on the bottom and it's just stacked with toppings. There's a potato, there's a chutney, there's everything. Okay, I'll stop talking. Here we go. This is my new favorite thing ever. Oh, I'm gonna get so fat here. It is like perfect balance. You know, a lot of the food I've had here so far has been fairly heavy, but this with like the nice fresh herbs, bean, with the very fresh sauces, the onion, it's just very light, very fresh, full of flavor. It's salty, it's spicy, it's sweet all at the same time. It's perfection. I love it. I don't recommend doing double chilies. I'm dying over here. We are continuing our journey, finding the most exotic and interesting foods here in Mumbai, India. And right here, we have a food stall serving what is essentially the Indian hamburger. You can see there is a line of auto rickshaws parked outside, so you know it's good. There's a bunch of local people here eating. This is like a real workman's lunch, so let's go check it out. And here we are. This is called Vada Pav but some call it the Bombay Burger. A bun stuffed with a large fried potato dumpling, flavored with a chutney and served with some fresh chilies. This particular stand lets patrons mix and match the inner workings of their burger. One dude got theirs loaded with potato chips, another guy slammed a whole samosa in there, so don't be afraid to get creative. Just putting on some of this freshly fried 
potato ball, and then that can go inside of the bread, inside the sandwich. This is like a fried spinach fritter, and you can mix and match a couple other things too. Here for dessert, they have the jelly bean. So right here, he's just fried a load of hot chilies, putting some salt on top. That looks intense. So you eat the sandwich and you eat the chili together. Today, my Vada Pav starts with bread that's sliced and doused with chutney and their own secret masala. Then a big old fried potato dumpling, then a newspaper so I have something to read, also some spinach fritters, potato chips, and chilies on the side. All this for 20 rupees or about 30 cents. Well, almost like the bread is just a holder, so you can hold it without burning your mouth. I forgot about this. Yeah. Chili. chili. You're supposed to be supplementing the flavor with the chili. So you take a bite of this, can you take a bite of this? Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> not hot, not hot. Okay, a little hot. And these chilies, when they fry them, it brings out this great, like, sweet taste. It's so different from a raw chili. We've got the potato inside the bread with the chutney. Let's try it out. Mm. That is a hearty sandwich. Crispy, salty, a bunch of turmeric flavor coming through. Oh my god. <laughs> what, double, double chili? Uh. All right, double chili. That's good. The chilies, you have to have it with the chilies. Yummy! Yummy! All right. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, the inside of my mouth is on fire and I want to die. But otherwise, it's really good. No, I'm okay. I'm not, it's not spicy. It's a little spicy. Very nice. Let's find some dessert. And for dessert, I'm heading back to Muhammad Ali Road. This road is famous for its huge variety of street food, especially heavy non-veg delights. My buddy Azar leads the way as we order up some beja fry, containing some special ingredients. Um, these are not testicles, right? No, not at all. That's kidney. Okay. That's liver. That's brain. I, yeah. That's heart. What are animals this from? Goat. All the goats. This is all the goat yeah. organ section that we found. What kind of so they make with the brain? It's called beja fry. So they'll chop that brain, they'll put a lot of spices, garlic paste and stuff, right. a little vegetables, onion, tomato, put it on the pan, they store it with a lot of oil. You want one of those? Yeah, let's get one of those. Let's, let's. And then maybe the kidney. All right. I've never had a goat kidney, not yet, anyways. Let's try it now. In Mumbai and particularly in this part of Mumbai, it's very common. When you eat the brain, like what do you like about the brain? The texture, you know, it's a very soft, smooth, gooey kind of a texture. Yeah. That is fine when you eat this brain. Okay, perfect. So let's get some brain. And let's, and let's get some kidney. He puts on some oil. And then kidney on one side. Brain on one side. Garlic paste, cumin seeds, tomatoes, red chili powder, coriander powder. And so is he going to mix the brain and the kidney? No, no, no. On one side he's going to cook the brain. On the other side he's going to cook the... Okay, good. I, don't, I really don't like mixing my brain and kidney. I'm just kind of picky like that. We ordered like six of these kidneys, and they really do cook down to nothing. That was six of those big guys. Now it's just down to the end. After our beja fry is fried, our main courses are served with an assortment of breads. You know, brain is a little bit unusual for some Western people. Is that? Yeah. And uh, it's just because they're not used to eating it. But the brain is really just kind of fatty. I want to start with that. These are all bread. Okay. Try with this. Yeah. And then I just put it in there. I you make like a sloppy joe. No. Oh. Not ideally. That's not the way. Okay. No problem. That's the way. Okay. So I'm gonna grab some of this brain. There we go. There's an assist. Okay. And then right there, we've got some of the brain, some of the bread, all together. So you've had this before? Plenty here, of time. Here. Oh wow. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Is that your first time ever? No, I had goat brain one other time. What's brain in it? That is a goat brain? Yeah. Did this goat do meth? But it's my first time having goat brain like this and with these kind of Indian flavors. And then the brain is just really fatty and soft, yeah. super salty. Mm. So rich. Let's try some kidney. It's a cheat day, it's a special day. Mmm. That's good. That's good. That's even better. It just has a nice organ -y feel. It's a little chewy. Yeah, I like that chewiness. Good texture. This place is cooking up a ton of these different sauteed organ dishes, and then you can scoop it up. We don't need no forks or spoons. You just choose what kind of bread you want to scoop it up with. Exactly. Hey, besties, be sure to subscribe for more videos. Next week, we'll go deep into Delhi, India, hunting down some more exotic treats, including a noodle ice cream, plus see if I survive my bout with the infamous flaming pond. Ah! Uh, uh. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company putting on amazing tours in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. I'm proud to say One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, and I especially love their food tour. You cannot go wrong. For more information, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next week. A peace.